My top social media tip is that you want to keep in mind that social media is a great way to reach out to people, but you want to bring them back to your own hub. So you want to make your website really, um, you know, explain who you are, what you do, why you do it, and give them an opportunity to join your world so that they don't just follow you on social media, but they're also part of your email list and you can reach out to them long term. The best blogging advice that I've ever received is that you have to keep in mind who your audience is and a lot of times we tend to write for our peers. So if, for example, you're talking about marketing, you're going to talk about really advanced marketing techniques that you learned, whereas the people who are on your blog to learn from, from you probably need to be taught basics. So you have to start from step one. So for me, I do a lot of um, technology stuff and it's really easy for me to forget that people don't know how to use all these tech tools. So I have to really start from the basics and then when I do videos, I really show step by step and um, that advice has really really paid off for me and I recommend it to anyone who get, kind of gets stuck in that mentality of blogging for their friends. One of the things I've been blogging for 10 years so one of the things that I've learned is that I want to start a new project like every two years <laughs> so it's really important for me to pick a name that is not going to change so for example my domain name is my name because I know that I'm probably going to change over time and using my own domain name that's the one thing that's not going to change in my business or in my blogging so it's important for me to do that and I recommend recommend that if people are the kind of like me who are going to change their mind over time, um, pick something that will not change, which is probably you.